How you doing folks? Uh, just got back from England. Well, I say just got back. I got back yesterday. And uh, aye, it was alright going down, no bother, flinging between lanes, you know, the whole road. It was brilliant. Got down about four hours. On the way back, uh, get past Birmingham. Not bad, not bad. Bit of traffic, not bad. Fucking Stoke-on-Trent. Now, I don't know what goes on in Stoke-on-Trent. Everyone seems to be wanting to get in or get out. I feel sorry for the people who live in Stoke-on-Trent. They never leave their fucking houses. Honestly, congestion, 40 mile zones. Fucking hell. So if you live in Stoke, you'll have to move because you'll never get anywhere. <laughs> but aye, so that was that. Anyway, let's get fired into the review. Not the review. The haul, if you will. Uh, up the top here we got some mosh heads for uh, Mr. Pooh. Your glumps, <coughs> yeah, your glumps, uh, your camera job, some sort of leprechaun dude, some teeth back in the day, got one of them today. Uh, aye, that's those. Uh, then an asterisk, a rubber asterisk, that I think it goes on the top of sweets or something like that. So that's pretty cool. Uh, a rat king from the turtles, a ghostbuster, crazy hand action, uh, another ghostbuster. <laughs> So that's him. Uh, what else do we get here? We got King Kong. <coughs> it looks a bit like my mum. <laughs> no, it does not Maybe across the eyes. No. <laughs> Only joking. Only joking, mum. Uh, so that's him. Uh, a Kenner alien figure. Whoops. 90s. Uh, Galactic hero. Uh, a penguin figure from the 90s. A, a Terminator figure. Great Nick. I've got about six of these now. No, I've got two. A, I've got a Vinnie Modo Throttle keyring. <laughs> it's one of the three. Don't know which one. Bike and Mice from Mars. A, got a couple of these dudes here. Uh, I'm going to start collecting these loose, I think. Uh, I've got a lot of Thunderbirds carded, but I think I'm going to start collecting them loose as well. I've decided today. So, also the Captain Scarlet and the Stingray, which is what this guy's from. So, I think I'm going to collect all the waves carded and loose. Boom, boom. Decided right now. Um, uh, Pirates of Dark Water figure, he's been attacked by a bear. Uh, that's him. The compulsory uh, Jurassic Park figure, I think it's compulsory. Every time you go to a boot, you have to pick one of these guys up. I've got about four of them. <laughs> I gave one to Paul, he's probably got about ten. Uh, <laughs> never mind. Uh, I got uh, a wee He Man figure, I think these are absolutely banging. Um, absolutely fantastic. If anybody knows if this is a knockoff, Wave, or if they made a whole bunch of them, I'd really appreciate it. Really like to know a bit more about these guys. Uh, so that's Human. Uh, Bucky O'Hare from. Uh, uh, oh, Bucky O'Hare! <laughs> Closing the name there, Jeff. Bucky O'Hare from Bucky O'Hare. Uh, and my find of the day, folks uh, California Raisins. I don't know if you've ever heard of them, it was a shit TV show in the 90s, a cartoon where they kind of sort of danced about and did a wee sing, sing song uh, so a couple of those, absolutely brilliant, I had a keyring one so now I've got these two to add to the collection it's a shit show but I absolutely love it <laughs> so that's those uh, uh, Robot Hero um, I'm never sure of the names, I usually just say Ratchet for most of them so I think that's Ratchet <laughs> a, a Han Solo Hoth gear not bad condition, not great, but a bit of a clean, it should be alright. There was a your sort of Landos and uh, your Princess Leia vintage, but they're absolutely battered to bits and nobody wants them, so didn't pick them up. Uh, the Tomahawk driver, the G.I. Joe for the helicopter, paint wear on the face, but good for parts. The waist is good and the fingers are good, so 50p can't go wrong. Uh, a whole bunch of Star Wars clone troopers, uh, biker scouts, that type of thing. Uh, and this wee dude, my uh, girlfriend's mum got me him, a Cartoon Network, bless her, don't know what it is, but if somebody could shed some light on him, that'd be ace. Uh, oh, I some civilian families, now, I'm not really into these, but my uh, mate's daughter had them. Um, I, they're alright. The Otter family were in a bit of a fire, uh, third degree burns on most of them, so not good news for the Otters. Uh, I mean, they've got some lovely dresses. <laughs> dresses, I don't know anything about them at all. Um, they're not really my cup of tea, but they're all battered. I mean, the badgers aren't looking too hot either, and 
I mean, this guy's missing an arm and his hair's falling out. He's got some sort of disease, but they're all right. This guy caught my eye, actually, with his big mutton chops. So, but I don't know. They might be worth a punt or something. Who knows? Um, so that's those. Uh, over here, got a Hoth Rebel Trooper from 97, two quid. And a Dungeons Master Guide, Dungeons and Dragons. That was a pound, two pound. Uh, my second find of the day, folks, were these things here. Um, I'll get the one out that I've got out of the packet. It's a Moonraker. For a James Bond fan, these are excellent. Uh, Moonraker, 50 years of James Bond. And it's just the artwork. It's all prints of the artwork. Um, they all just come out with photos. Uh, just fantastic, it really is. Um, so I was happy, chuffed a bit to get that. Roger Moore, my favourite Bond. So I've got Moonraker. Uh, Diamonds Are Forever, Octopussy, and Thunderball, so that was good for me. Uh, also, my girlfriend's old boy bought me this. It's the Old Trafford 3D puzzle with about a million pieces in it and no fucking instructions. Alright! That's going to take me about seven years to build, <laughs> but cheers for that. Um, also went to a dump shop when I was in rugby and picked up this bad boy. It's the uh, Ghostbusters fire station. In absolutely brand spike new condition. It's filthy but I gave it a clean and looks the business. The big trap, it's missing the wee one and the sign and the bits and the bits and pieces, but for two pounds I thought What a bargain! <laughs> uh, what else do we get here? Uh, oh I, while we were at the boot sale he was given, there was a stall and he was basically giving stuff away for free. So I'm a sucker for free shit. So I went over there and uh, he had a few things. They're, they're pretty crap, but they were free, so I picked them up. Uh, this is the widescreen video collection edition Star Wars Phantom Menace. Uh, it comes with a free video, uh, video, movie, sort of, what you call that, slide or something like that. Uh, nice artwork in the box too. And it comes with a sort of a collector's book from the Phantom Menace. With some nice artwork in it. So, quite like that, and obviously the video. So that was those, so that was a uh, grand total of fuck all for that. Uh, also this, uh, Attack of the Clones, I think it's an audio CD, audio book type thing. Uh, that'd be great when I'm going up from England and I get stuck in fucking Stoke again. Uh, and also this Doctor Who Regeneration Sticker Guide, six sealed books for free. So that was good. Free stuff. Brilliant. Uh, and then my uh, Bird's Old Deer got me this as well. Tazo's Collector Pack. Uh, fuck, I don't, you see these at the boot all the time. This one was actually complete. I needed that one and I needed that one when I was young. So to get them all 20 years later. I mean I got bored of collecting to be honest. Uh, there's only so many bags of crisps you can eat. And, uh, but chuffed a bits to have them all together now, so I'll keep that somewhere. Probably just aye, keep it somewhere. Uh, and the shows have got me this. It's the Empire of Star Wars Collectors magazine, which is free inside. Uh, it's 10 years old, 20p. Thank you very much. Uh, what else have we got? Here we go. We've got some records. Uh, these are from my brother. He's not a big Fleetwood Mac fan, but I bought it because it was part of the bundle. Uh, the Beatles, 6770. 6296, Double Fantasy, uh, Queen Greatest Hits, uh, Are You Normal? Not really, 10cc, uh, On Through the Night by Def Leppard, and The Best of Johnny Cash, which has six records in it. So that is an absolute steal. He'll be chuffed a bit to get that. Uh, I think that's it, folks. Uh, just want to say sorry this video has been rushed through. I think this is about the sixth time. I've done it, I fucked up the first time, the second time uh, it wouldn't convert into a proper format and the third time I forgot to include these bad boys so what an idiot but anyway it's done now so there we go and also my final thing I'd like to say a big congratulations to Mr Paul Pooh five years on the tube, I'm relatively new to this whole uh, shenanigans so uh, if he can get away with talking shite for five years then I don't see why I can't so no, I'm kidding but uh, good on you, Paul, and uh, thanks for watching. Um, I'll be back with another wee haul video probably in the next couple of days. I've got some turtles and I've got some more, uh, oh, more moshies I've got. Uh, and something else, but I can't remember what it is. 
but we'll stick that in the video and I'll put it up and let you guys see it. Alright, uh, thanks for watching folks and I'll see you again soon. Cheers!